G'day guys, welcome back to another episode. In this video, we're gonna show you how to catch this and turn it into this. So without further ado, we'll get stuck straight into the dive. This is actually from a few days before we got stuck into the mud crab. Me and Michael sent it a bit wide and we're playing on some reef at the end of a busy day. As you can see from the video, there's a decent amount of movement in this water. That current's absolutely roaring past, but I've managed to secure myself on top of this coral and it's got a nice dead spot so I can actually like scratch and play with the coral that you can see there. It's just perfect, so I figured this would be a great ambush spot and just wait for some predator to come by. You can see that there's a little bit of bait, there's not too much happening. I get bored, I see a one spot snapper and think, right, I'm taking my shot. Bang. Smack him. He retreats straight into the reef. I'm running a breakaway setup on this one, which is quite awkward, but we were intending to hit larger fish and I just didn't swap this setup out when we went into the reef. Serves me right, now we're tangled. And now we've got the sharks coming in. There's heaps. There's there's heaps of sharks on this spot and it's the perfect time for them. It's getting into that like kind of golden hour, the sun's going down. Yep, they're fired up, they're keen. Greys, bulls, white tips and black tips. So, trying to do this on my own is a bit hairy. I come up to the surface. Quickly became a few more sharks. We decide to have another crack at it. I swim down, this time Michael swims down just a couple meters behind me. And you can immediately see the presence that Michael has had on these sharks. Diving with two people makes a hell of a difference. The sharks lose their confidence, they lose their interest, they're not as fired up, and they're less likely to take cowardly surprise attacks. So I can go right on into the reef and not have to worry that I'm going to get shot from behind or have my thighs bitten. I can just grab this fish out of the hole and head for the surface. Now this fish isn't going to look pretty. He's been underneath the reef, the poor bugger, trapped. Can't do anything. Luckily none of the sharks could get into the hole otherwise he just would have been ripped to shreds. So I can set him free bring him up to the surface. Don't forget, always try and move your shooting line out of the way of any coral. Don't just yank it and break coral. If everybody did that, we'd be left with dead beds. So here's the poor mangled one spot snapper. Poor guy. Shot on a setup for dog tooth tuna. That is the most mangled one spot. <laughs> oh, fish. Okay, so now that Sam has shown us how to hunt down and shoot the one spot and fight off the sharks, I'm going to show you how we do turn this into that mud crab. So, like any bait, I like getting like big fleshy bits. So cut them up here, through the backbone, bit of guts. All right, nice big solid fleshy piece with some guts and if you guys could smell this, <coughs> you'd be gagging. <laughs> Chuck it in. A little bait bag. Now mud crab are so strong and vicious that you'll probably see, hopefully we get the mud crab and this is just gonna be torn to shreds. So I cable tie the, the bait up. And then I cable tie the bait into the center of the bottom of the net. And then that's it. 
then we are good to go. Now this particular type of net, what I do is I pull it tight to shut it up, put like a half hitch, and then you stretch this out to the edge and clip that on. And that's it. No muddies climb in here. Let's go drop this in and try our luck. I cannot explain to you how much that bait stunk. It was ridiculous. Anyways, Michael's got us going out to one of his little spots. This man knows his stuff. He scouted the areas. He knows exactly where to drop these pots. And this looks like a perfect spot. So Sam's gonna chuck that in there. So the main thing you wanna remember when you're chucking crab pots down is you wanna make sure they're sitting flat like that. They have to be sitting perfectly flat, otherwise the crabs will just come from underneath and like feed on the bait. And then what we'll do is we'll tie this down super low so that nobody, so that nobody sees it. And so that hopefully that's still here when we get here. So we're just gonna leave that tucked in there. We'll come back, lunchtime. So it's low tide, dead low water right now. We'll let like a tide cycle go. So um, once it's high tide, we'll come back in. And hopefully as that tide starts running and pushing back salt water back up into the system, the crabs start to crawl. Um, you know, we left that bait for a day and a half, two days. So it's super smelly, which I think helps. I was just saying to Sam, this is why like, he, he spearfishes and I use a lot of lures and a bit of spearfishing as well. So you don't have to deal with smelly bait. <laughs> but uh, it's going to be worth it once we get this nice bit muddy. So after that, we head back. So after that, we head back to camp, and basically, I think we just went about running some errands in the day. All right, guys, so it is time to check the pots. A number of hours have passed. I'm not exactly sure how many hours, uh, roughly six or seven, and uh, Michael's just going out to retrieve the tinny. And then we're gonna see what we've got. What do you reckon? I'm, a, I'm really, really hopeful on this one. Don't ask me why, but I've just got a good feeling that we're gonna get a delicious mud crab from this one spot snapper. And uh, yeah, how awesome. We got some bait just up here, just off the pontoon, which is pretty cool. So yeah, we just gotta go up and retrieve our, hopefully, mud crab. That would be sick. Let's do this conversion. Let's convert a one spot snapper into a mud crab. See how we go. I just saw, yeah, I saw the bait move over there and then something flushed at the bait. Well, as I was paddling out, they were chasing the bait right in here. They were all on the surface. I saw their fins in there. Oh, awesome. As we get up onto the boat, I'm a little bit nervous, eager to see if we've got our mud crab. We've put in a fair bit of effort for it. We've utilized a dead, smelly, mangled fish, but has it paid off? It's really hard to tell because of, like all things related to the ocean, you can do absolutely everything right and get zero results. It's just the way that the game plays. All right, Michael, what do you think? I am, on? I am reasonably confident we're going to have a muddy in here. I would say I'm a 85% chance for a mud crab. I like nuts. I like nuts. The first plus is that the crab oh, nest. Got one crab. I just disturbed this little fella. Yeah, they love the white rope. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, oh. every, every time I tie them up, they're always on the white rope. Hey. Bingo! <laughs> we got one. We got two. We got two. One. Now, now that's a big crab. That's a big crab. So Michael had the genius idea to chuck a GoPro 3 inside the crab net and see what we might find. And here you can see the little crab coming in, getting a nice little feed, enjoying his munchy time. And then you'll see his behavior change slightly and he'll run away from the bait. Now. Michael and I both suspect that this is when the big buck came in. 
we're gonna watch Sam now put his hand in there and get the small one out. No, <laughs> no I'm joking, dude. And then the half hit. All right. So you gotta watch out for the old mate that'll take your finger off and see if you can get the little one out. <laughs> Hold this one. All right. The big one is a prisoner. And it's a little female. Oh, hoo, hoo. You know what? Stick the uh, stick the knife in or the pliers and let it let it pinch on. Oh, if he works his way into the top, I've got my hand. What are you doing, bud? Easy now. Damn it. Oh, that was, thought you had it. Ruffle to the left. I'm trying to get you out. Hey, hey. It's got the other little crab out. It's actually a male, so I'm willing to bet that crab got in the pot first. Because if that big sucker was in there, I wouldn't think this guy would even come and have a sniff. He's a brave, brave boy. And he's gonna go back and make lots of babies grow. and grow big. Yeah, enjoy. We have the wet mammal <laughs> representing all of humanity. And in the green corner, we've got old mate who's got a fair set of guns on him. All right, keep it clean, boys. All right, touch gloves. Let's go. <laughs> All right, how not to catch a mud crab? Ready? Oh, this is, you're giving it easy, bud. That was a walk in the park. Oh, yeah, it was <laughs> almost, almost. Have a look at those. Wow. Oof. Definitely do wow. not want to get chomped by that. So. Solid crab, that's your first ever muddy caught? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what a way to do it. Hunting down a one spot. Convert in a one spot into a muddy. Bloody it's awesome. So surreal, this thing's like a dinosaur. Look at those claws. Sick. So yeah, super excited to cook this guy up and yeah, turn into an excellent feast. What a crab, what a crab. Humanity one, crab zero. <laughs> All right, so we've got our mud crab and we need to make a fire because we're gonna cook him on a fire in seawater and it's gonna taste delicious. Check this. You probably can't tell from the video, but it absolutely poured down for a good couple of hours this day. So trying to start this fire was nigh on impossible. One of the hardest fires to get going I've ever lit and ended up not using the spark stick and used a lighter like a modern human would. And I'm absolutely putting these free diver lungs to the use here. And then we just use seawater to boil the crab in. This is the best top tip to get the sweetest, sweetest crab meat. And it works for lobsters too. Chuck it on the fire, bring it to a boil, and we're good to go. Let that get nice and toasty, and then we'll drop our friend into the pot. It's gonna be good. Stay tuned. All right, okay, so we've got the fire going, the water's boiling, we are set. Let's do this. Mud crab going in. So we're just going to drop him in, like so, get burnt on the knee a little bit, place the lid over, and cook him off for about eight minutes for this guy, so we will lift and keep an eye on him until he's done. Set. Alright, so the timer's going off, which is our indicator that this crab is cooked to perfection. Let's get the lid off, without getting burnt. You ready? Dun 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 Alright. Yeah. 
and we will try and fish this puppy out without getting too burnt. Just get a couple of legs. Whew. All right, pretty sure I got a good grip. How's that fella? Do not slip on me, boy. All right, so we're gonna put it into some seawater just to help cool it down and stop it from overcooking. Otherwise it will just continue to cook in the shell. So you'd usually do this in ice water, but today we're doing it in the seawater for extra flavor. Al natural. Jeez, how good does that look? All right, sweet. So then we'll take this inside and we'll serve them up. All right guys, so we're all cooked up. She's nice and red, or he's nice and red, should I say. And um, yeah, we're good to go. So I'm definitely just gonna get stuck into the claws. Just crack that puppy off. And we'll go again. Oh. All right. Get your old pliers. Juices everywhere. Maybe I went a bit tough on that. Holy. Guys, this is one of the meatiest claws I've ever seen on a crab. This will def this is actually my first eaten caught mud crab as well, so I'm super super excited. Oh, look how juicy that is. I'm just gonna eat it straight from here. That is unreal. The flavours, the juiciness, it is Delicious. I wish I could share some of this with you guys, but um, yeah, what a feast. We're gonna actually share this into a pasta and eat it. What a cracking day, me and Michael went out and smashed a one spot snapper. We then converted it into the mud crab today. Michael's taking us out to the special spot. We've dropped the one spot snapper in there as bait and we fully intended to turn that fish into this crab and we've done that so mission success absolutely excellent guys thank you for watching i hope you've enjoyed it's been awesome hanging out with michael he's actually got a stellar mud crab recipe on his channel so go check it out link is in description until next time stay wet stay fed and i'm definitely fed catch ya welcome back to another video in this video we're going to show you how to catch this I'll do a Darby couple of them. and turn it into this. We're going to show you how to catch this. Watch out, Dolly. Oh. <laughs> Tom. Sorry, Dolly. Dolly's going to stink to high heaven. He could have.